Hello everyone, welcome back to Touch the Fire Twice, I'm Joshua, and I'm here today to do an in-depth sniff comparison review of the Homeworks by Slacken & Co. Blueberry Cheesecake Candle. This is the 18 ounce traditional four wick, once, twice, burned candle uh, that was dropped, released on the homeworks.shop website a few weeks back. It did sell out pretty quickly due to just popularity of, you know, name, expected scent, label, and a great promotion they were having at the time in mid-March. Hopefully this will show up at some point, either perhaps on the homeworks.shop website, though we haven't been seeing a whole lot of restocks there, but it could very well show up at QVC. So hopefully folks can get their hands on this if they have not yet and want to, but I did want to do my sort of traditional in-depth sniff comparison reviews. If you watched my homeworks collective haul, the most recent video, I did a quick you know, two or three minutes on 11 different candles. But for some of them, I did want to get more in depth just because I know, you know, either folks are really interested in them or there's a lot that I want to sniff and kind of dissect and analyze from, from my end. Talk a bit about the performance because I have burned this twice now. And then I have actually five scents here that I want to do my comparison review against. Two Bath & Body Works scents, two Slacken & Co. at Bath & Body Works scents from back in the day, one Homeworks candle, and then I have one Homeworks candle that I want to compare to, but I no longer have, but I did have it over one time. So it's going to be a bit of a memory comparison. So, you know, not the most authentic comparison, but still I think worth talking through. But getting into Blueberry Cheesecake, I said this in the last video, but this is just such a decadent, pretty label. Also then, the wax, I will say, what a pretty light purple. It's funny, it almost matches the shirt a little bit. <laughs> I tried. Um, but it's nice to see the, a purple there versus, quite honestly, Bath & Body Works does a blue uh, blueberry wax. And, you know, you crush up blueberries, they're going to be sort of purple like this. Even though they're a blueberry, they're going to be purple once they kind of release their juices and the, the skin, uh, which carries the color since the inside is just kind of clear, uh, you know, macerates amongst the, the juices. So I like that sort of authenticity and it's just very pretty versus just a boring kind of cream colored wax. And then we talk about the notes on this one, wild Maine blueberry, cheesecake accord, blackberry jam, and brown sugar crust. So worth talking about sort of what I sniff compared to what they, what I expected to smell because most of these we're not buying in stores, we're buying online, we're relying on the website description or the host presentation or Harry's interpretation of the fragrance to, you know, say is it what we think it'll be what we want it to be so i like to compare against this so looking for blueberry cheesecake accord now an accord of course there's not going to put cheesecake in here there's not an essential oil of cheesecake because cheesecake is already ingredients mixed together so you've got sugar and you've got some dairy typically you're going to get maybe some mascarpone cheese you're going to probably get some cream cheese you've got of course beyond the cheesecake the crust which is a separate note in here but an accord is going to be since notes built together to give the idea of cheesecake. So it's not just, hey, rose, throw some rose oil in here, cheesecake, you're gonna build an accord. So it's almost like when they say accord, that's to say, this is an interpretation of what we think that thing would smell like, because obviously there's not an oil of whatever that might be. So that as well as blackberry jam, which is interesting to add just another berry note to the cheesecake, and then brown sugar crust. So those all make sense to me. I will say brown sugar crust, Certainly makes sense that there could be some brown sugar in your graham cracker crust, though typically it's gonna be graham cracker, maybe a bit of sugar, I, more so honestly, like a, a white granulated sugar so it doesn't get overly caramelized or burn, uh, along with butter and maybe a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit of vanilla, but typically your graham, graham crusts are kind of straightforward. Really, really nice. Uh, not incredibly strong. I'd say, sniffing it now, it's, it's, it's on the light medium end. It's not full on light, like, you know, your apricot cobbler, island citrus guava, some of the really lighter scents that have been out recently. But it's light. It's kind of in the berry trifle family of, of initial strength when sniffing it. So let's call it a four to a five, perhaps, on a 10 scale. But it's lighter. But it's really nice. I would say right from the jump with this one, don't expect this to be as heavy on blueberry as you know, blueberry pies or, you know, other blueberry forward scents. Certainly blueberry is in here, but it's, it's almost an interpretation of blueberry. It's not a straight up, straightforward candy blueberry like sometimes you'll get in, you know, your can your Jolly Ranchers. When I think of the, the scents that oftentimes, you know, banana often is in wax is going to be kind of like your runt 
kind of candy banana. When you're thinking of watermelon or strawberry, it's gonna, or grape, it's gonna be like sort of your Jolly Rancher artificial flavor. So it's what you think of grapes or watermelon or blueberries to be in one sense, but it's not the same as what they actually taste like. You know, you, you put a Jolly Rancher next to a bowl of blueberries or a sliced watermelon, they're actually gonna be kind of different, but it almost tricks our scent memory of what we expect a scent to be because so often when we're consuming things that are not the actual fruit, it's a kind of an accord-based or synthetic or artificial or natural, but, you know, concocted blend of an interpretation of that fruit or that flavor. Quite honestly, I think a lot of us expect more the candied version because that is what we often think of versus just the, the true raw or straightforward ingredient or fruit. With this, I would say it's not your candied version. It's not your, you know, Rita's Italian ice blueberry, bright blue blueberry flavoring or blueberry when you get like a snow cone and they put the syrup on it. So all that to say, thinking of this, this blend, I would say I was a little surprised in that it really is more cheesecake than blueberry, which I think makes sense, which is fine because if you're having a piece of cheesecake, the primary thing is gonna be the cheesecake. The blueberry really is topping. It's, it makes sense, it's there for a reason, it's in the name, but this is like a 70% cheesecake with the crust and 30% fruit topping for me, which again, I think makes sense. Some people I, I think probably would prefer a bit heavier on the blueberry. Thinking of when we've had other blueberry scents, certainly like the Bath & Body Works blueberry pie, there's more blueberry with a little bit of pie. But think about it. If you're having a blueberry pie, there's gonna be a little bit of crust on top and bottom and a ton of blueberry filling. A blueberry cheesecake is gonna be a thick slab of cheesecake with some nice crust and a little bit of the blueberry, you know, intensity concentrated glaze or blueberry sauce on top. So I think that actually kind of makes sense. So I'd say it's sort of like that jammy blueberry, not overly sweet, somewhat authentic, not like fresh berry, like the berry trifle, but somewhat authentic, I would say, because it's not the candy blueberry. But the cheesecake is what really shines in this. And I'll say that because Cheesecake in wax, I haven't seen a ton. It's not super, super common, maybe more in vendor wax, but when you think of traditional candle makers, you don't see cheesecake accords a whole lot. Sometimes Bath & Body Works will do it. But in my experience there, it's often leaned either too tangy or it smells a little bit burnt or just a little bit like sour milk. And so, same thing with graham cracker crust. Sometimes there will be either cheesecake or other baked good that has a graham crust of some sorts, or even think of s'mores candles and things like that. The graham, Sometimes it shows up close to graham cracker for me, but usually it's like, all right, this is a little nutty, a little bit shortbready, but not really graham cracker to me. This, very authentic with both the cheesecake and the graham cracker, which is impressive. It really smells like you have a fresh slice of New York style cheesecake. So it's not super, super dense. It's a little bit whipped. It's got that nice, creamy, mild, sweet, but not overly sweet texture to it. And then the crust, there really is a significant amount of graham cracker crust in here. And so a nice scent overall. I wouldn't mind the the volume, the intensity at like more of a seven or eight versus the five or the six. You don't want something cheap that's going to choke you out and be overly cheesy or overly heavy bakery really most of the time. So you don't need like an eight, nine, ten. But like a six, seven, I wouldn't mind in this. And I wouldn't mind a bit more of a tangy, a little bit of a bite. Like if you bite into the blueberries on here, the syrup around it is probably gonna be pretty sweet, but the blueberry itself oftentimes has a little pop of acidity, just a little bit of tartness, not as much as the blackberry, which I don't really get blackberry in here, though it's listed. Uh, but I wouldn't mind a little bit more of that fresh overtone to the berries. Talking of the performance, performance was solid. Good burn, took a little while to pull out, but it did get a fairly even burn. The edge of the wax in there did crack, which has happened on a few recently, including my berry trifle, once it cooled completely in a 70 degree house, so it wasn't overly hot to overly cold or, or changes. It did have this little crack, but doesn't seem to affect burn quality uh, from what I've seen so far. The two burns, the throw was subtle, but good enough. It was, I would say, probably a four or five. It wasn't obvious. You didn't walk in and say, oh my gosh, I know exactly what that is, which sometimes you want the candle to be like, oh, that smells just like X. Sometimes it's fine just to know, okay, there's something a little bit sweet, a little bit gourmand in the air, and that also works. So I think there's different levels of types of candles for different, you know, times of day, different, you know, if you're having people over or if you're not, or really just personal preference. I like something a little stronger typically, but this was strong enough. So think of it kind of like the berry trifle as far as it doesn't immediately knock you over the head, but it is there. It travels decently. It's got some good projections, some good sillage. 
and the strength is good enough. I wouldn't mind it being a bit stronger, but it is still worth burning. You still do smell it. You don't have to just go right over the top of it like say the apricot cobbler, which just wasn't enough for me. Now comparing it, most important for me, would be compared, I would have compared it to this farm stand blueberry, which this was in, I wanna say the first season in 2018 of Slack and Co. They did a peach, they did a strawberry, they did a blueberry. I think it was maybe just those three. Really pretty figurals. And it really just looks per like your perfect berry basket from the market. And it had drop-ins, and I believe it came with a set of two drop-ins for Wick, I want to say. Um, not huge, they're probably eight or 10 ounces, but, and they were made out of the same material here. Beautiful farm stand blueberry scent, the most authentic blueberry I've ever smelled. And it was strong, it was true blueberry. Comparing to, and, but, and you can't get it anymore. And I burned through my two uh, drop-ins as of I think last year I finished it and they're gone and that's that. But really pretty and it was a beautiful scent. And I do wish that the blueberry cheesecake was a little bit more like this, that fresh farm stand blueberry. But it's not, in my opinion, it is a bit different than this if you had this or ever smelled that. Then we go to, let's keep it in the Homeworks family, Berry Trifle. So of course we know Berry Trifle. You got the raspberries, wild blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, the vanilla pound cake, and the Grand Marnier sauce. This, I would say, blueberry is probably the lightest berry in here. For me, it's much more strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, because you've got the brightness, you've got the acidity, you've got some tartness. And smelling this now after not smelling it for a few weeks, the booziness, the creaminess, and the booziness of the Grand Marnier, which has that orange cognac liqueur, really does highlight more so here than I remember it. And comparing, I would say the berries are different, but they're, these are equal, I think, probably in quality. The berry trifle is a bit more unique, and certainly I feel like the performance was more intriguing because it was, you know, a four or five, but it carried all throughout. You could really sniff the different things in the air. But this one you can, but it's not quite as complex as everything going on in the very trifle, but still very nice. If you like one, I believe you'll like the other unless you just have an aversion to cheesecake. Then we go to, let's let's go to some Bath and Body Works, non slacken ones. We've got Blueberry Pie. So this one's been around for a couple of years with Bath & Body Works. Was not a Slack & Co. scent. It started maybe three or four years ago with Bath & Body Works. Notes, Juicy Blueberries, Flaky Crust, Sugar Crystals. This one is more of a straightforward blue. There's more blueberry in this than you get in the Blueberry Cheesecake, but it is not as authentic. This is nice. I do like this. I've burned through a couple of these. It's a good, you know, general sort of generic morning scent or afternoon where you just want something a bit sweet and light, but a little bit of a gourmand, a warmth to it versus just a fruity fruity. There's crust note in here. Luckily, it's not, or luckily for me, it's not overly intense with the crust because sometimes that can take over and it just gets to be too heavy. It's a good balance of berry filling and the crust. I will say though, the blueberry, I like this blueberry, but going back to what I was saying before of a fresh, true, authentic, true to life blueberry flavor versus an artificial blueberry flavor, this is your artificial blueberry flavor that you'll get in you know, a Special K blueberry cereal or a blueberry Pop-Tart or blueberry candies. It's gonna be, it's gonna smell or taste like blueberries because honestly our our olfactory senses have been kind of trained so that's what it is and it's the close, a close interpretation of it. Or again, the Italian ice that you can get sometimes that has the artificial blueberry flavor to it. That's what this gives me, which is very different than a blueberry you get in here, in my opinion. They're both interpretations of blueberries and it's not to say that there's, you know, there's not blueberry oil in here. This is still, I believe, you know, just a synthetic interpretation, but it leans more towards authentic versus your Pop-Tart filling, which is kind of what you get in a blueberry pie. Then I thought a little bit of this blackberry tea leaf. This only came out one season. Wild blackberry, bramble tea leaves, and hint of orange. And a lot of folks said this was kind of similar to the blueberry pumpkin patch of Slacken & Co, like 2012, 2013 at Bath & Body Works. And I do agree. This, there are parts of this that I do think the blueberry is somewhat similar to this. Now, blackberry, there is, you know, blackberry in the notes here. This is more fresh, more vibrant, definitely something going on with like the sweet orange, like a, like a tea leaves, when you've got that really, where the orange is so strong that it almost brings a sweetness to it, even if there's not sugar or a sweetener added to it. And this is more dry, like you definitely get tea leaves in this, not your lemon, you know, like your iced tea, like your London tea and lemon or whatever, but really dried herbal tea leaves, but a black tea with some berry added to it. In the same wheelhouse as far as leaning more authentic berry compared to the blueberry pie, but not a, not super, super, super similar to this, certainly only in, in the berry sense, not in the tea or the orange side of things. 
Then we go to two, including one that I think it's closest to, which I'll get to in a second. But just figured it's always worth, you know, this Slack & Co Berries & Cream, a very traditional Berries & Cream, blackberry, raspberry, and pear. Okay, that's non-traditional. With rich cream and caramel. A nice old school Slack & Co scent with a little bit of berries, but more of like a, it's more of a creamy scent that has some berries in it, but I actually wouldn't call this berries and cream on its, on its own. Not at all similar to this. Then we get Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. Now this, I talked about this in my Slack & Co From the Vault, Harry Bring Them Back video for the fall autumn candles. And this is one of them for me. It was a test scent in 2012 under Slack & Co. And then it was brought back wide in this packaging in 2013. And I think that was the last time it was seen. So notes in this, blueberries fresh from the farm are the perfect match for ripe pumpkins in this delicious autumn blend. They don't tell you a lot what's going on in here. But what I will say, ooh, that's so nice. If I had to choose, I do like this a little bit more than this. But if they could just take this, what this is, honestly, they could have taken everything in this, added cheesecake to it. And there is a fair amount of similarity here. Though, again, we're just talking the berry part. This is the cheesecake, the gram, 70% of it on its own. We're just comparing the blueberry here, not the overall full blend. But they're similar. I will say this just has maybe a little hint of the bakery spice in the background. Maybe the brown sugar crust has just a little pop of a nutmeg or something that warms up a tiny bit with the bakery spice. Everyone said how wonderful it is. I tend to agree. It's a beautiful interpretation of blueberry cheesecake. If I'm being nitpicky, it's just a little higher in the percentage of fragrance oils to give it a little, you know, seven versus like a five-ish in strength and throw. Highly recommend picking it up. Let me know what you think if you've burned this. If you want to compare it to any others, I'd love to hear your opinions as well. And until next time, take care.